Hey guys, we're Jackie. I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all cannot see from the title of the video, I'm here for a 2021 review video. So basically, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my 2021 review, basically what happened this year, um, all that fun stuff, and we just gonna just talk about my 2021 and what I have in store for 2022. So basically, to start things off, we gotta go way back to January. I'm filming this in December, so we gotta go way back to January. Around January, I don't remember how many subscribers I had. And I'm be honest, I'm I'm doing everything off the top of my head, and uh, so hopefully I remember a lot of things. I might be forgetting a lot as well, but we're just gonna go with the flow and see how this video turns out. So to start back in January 2021, that month it was after I decided not to go back to school, and yeah, that's when I first started being a full time worker at H and M, and yeah, that was when I first started my gap semester, and I remember that month kind of i remember the first half of this year was i was working at h&m full time trying to do youtube i remember like so basically in this year the, the main things i remember is that i dropped out went back to school quit my job and focused on youtube and school that's basically what happened but um just like say how it happened is so i probably worked full time from h&m to january to june i quit in june early june and Working at H and M full time, um, it sucked. It really did suck because first things first, the art management ass. If y'all watching this, I don't think any of my management is watching this, but y'all fucking suck. The management, at, like the H and M I worked at, was terrible. Um, my coworkers, some of them were cool, some of them were fuck y'all. Um, and so basically, what happened was, but H and M made me work basically every single day. And by the time I got off, I was so tired I didn't want to do anything. And I was pissed because my plan was during like my gap semester when I dropped out, I wanted to focus on YouTube and make money on the side. And I couldn't because fucking I was working all the fucking time. Yes, that was on me. I just felt like I was my, all my energy was being drained at eight, like the, my, at my job because there was so much drama, unnecessary shit that was going on that I had to deal with. And that probably just mentally was mentally draining me and I was just over it and I didn't have time or just wasn't mentally available for you to. It made me realize working at h and for a time that like this shit is not it. Like I'm happy I did it, of course, because if I didn't, I would probably still be like in school, sad, miserable, depressed, all that stuff. Um, it made me realize like, I don't want to do this yet. I want to go back to school and have fun. And just one day during this, like June, um, one of my coworkers quit. We were pretty close. I haven't talked to him since, but he he called, he told me that he quit. And I was like, you know what? It's just, it's a sign. I'm done. I was done because what really pissed me off. Holy shit! Uh, I talked about this in the video already, but it was a customer that was pissed me the fuck off. Um, long story short is that me and this customer were going back and forth because they wanted us to use an online discount in store, which we couldn't. And then the manager, the store manager of all managers came out and basically were kissing their dick and made me look stupid in front of them. And I got pissed as fuck because my manager didn't have my back. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done here. That's it. I'm done. When I quit, I decided to go back to school in June in summer for the summer classes. I took, I think I took three, two or three classes in summer, I don't remember. But I know one was in person and the other two, the other one or two were online. The in person was a stat, which I finished stat with a 99, you know what I'm saying? Your boy's Asian, I'm good at math. And the other two, I think I finished with a B because I'll just be slacking, I didn't care. I hate online classes and I never will take another online class unless I have to. Um, but yeah, I went back summer classes strong. I made it on the Dean's list. And then going into the fall, I was excited to go back on campus because um, I felt like my college experience was taken away from COVID. So I was excited to go back to school. It was awful and then bam, I, I encountered someone that had COVID. I got COVID tested, I got negative, but then I did get very, really, like I got sick. I got so sick while I was on the floor crying. That's how bad I got sick. And I don't have my taste and smell still to this day. And it's been six months since that happened. So. I tested negative for COVID, but I probably got it. And yeah, um, that was not fun. That was probably like the lowest of the lows of this year. Um, Cause I was just like, damn, my, I feel like my college experience is being taken away. I can't do anything and it just sucked. But as soon as I got out of my like 14 day quarantine, cause like I quarantined myself after I started feeling sick, 
that's when I met my boys, Chris and Kyle. If y'all know who they are, here's a picture of Chris, here's a picture of Kyle. I met these two in the loft because of my friend Bliss. I don't know if y'all remember her, um, but my friend Bliss, y'all probably see her more videos because like I said, this is coming up here. Um, I'm going to be filming a lot more things on campus, probably more vlogs and stuff like that. So you'll probably see a whole bunch of my friends. But yeah, I met Chris and Kyle through Bliss because after my class, they were chilling together and I met up with them. And that's how I met Chris and Kyle. And then we just grew a connection and bonded from there. And then moving on from there, we just add, kept adding people to the group. And now we have a little friend group. And I'm just very appreciative of the friend group that we have created because the bonds and all the stuff that we went through in a short amount of time is, it's, it's so surreal and it feels i'm just blessed to have them in my life you know and it's just been an amazing journey so far and i just can't wait to see what the future holds uh, and just throughout the semester we just kept meeting people doing things going on adventures um i know you've seen them our like, atlanta vlogs and stuff like that going to the hawks games and stuff like that we've just been doing a lot of fun activities because it's like finally we can because like i was saying i felt like my first two years of college were taken away due to covid um yeah we finished the semester strong with an a two b's and a c um i could have done better but i did my best <laughs> we're gonna finish this year strong and go into 2022 with a bang and that's all i gotta say um but yeah now we're gonna go into like more detailed stuff um like what was my favorite video to film this year and honestly my favorite video this year was probably playing baseball with fruit um y'all can check that out right right here that was probably my favorite video this year because I just got to fucking play baseball and hit fruit. I didn't play baseball growing up. That was like the only sport I didn't really play. So it was just fun swinging on fruit. And then we definitely got dirty, but it was definitely fun. And also I got my new mic at the time, which I was playing around with. Of course, I like the vlogs and stuff like that and making memories with the friends, but like hitting the fruit was really fun. I want to do like some more stuff with like fruit and stuff. So stay tuned for that. And I'll also a second, like I was saying, videos with friends making memories um i know vlogs just be like vlogs are very easy videos like i said because i just vlog what i do but i also like vlogging because it just gives like us more memories to look back on and that's one thing i like to look at on my like youtube channel because i go back i've been doing this on, i think i've been on this channel for the past three four or five years and i can go back far and i can see how terrible my old videos were and now I look at my new videos like especially my thumbnails y'all could see how amazing my thumbnails are now compared to back in the day I just love to see the growth there and like to see the memories my favorite thing I did this past 2020 you was probably going to the beach with some friends even though it was only for like two days it was still very fun it was my like friends I made my freshman year of college um, we don't really talk that much no more but we get together every time we can and we went to the beach and that was very fun you know that was the first time I, that was like my first vacation in such a long time it was much needed um it was just a very very fun time and then yeah i want to go back to the beach for the spring break with some friends like me and chris and kyle we're trying to get some work going. we're trying to go to the beach this year we are going to do something for the spring break this year so stay tuned for that what did i learn in 2021 i gotta communicate better i gotta um, tell people how I feel. I have to just do better overall. If my emotions, communication is very key. Um, yeah, people have told me that like they can physically tell, like they can physically see that there's something wrong with me and I just need to tell them how I feel. That's something I gotta do better. That's something I gotta learn to do better. Which I will, it just takes time. It takes time. This 2021, it's been, it's been such a year. This year's been so slow and fast. I felt like so much has happened in this year. It's like, I dropped out, went back to school. Um, I quit my job. Um, I haven't been working the past like six months and it's like, <sighs> I'm just following my gut. I'm following my heart. I'm just trying to live a life without any regrets because it's like, I don't want to be regretful for what I do. I wanted to live my life with no regrets. And I don't know, so far I feel so good. Um, lately I've been uh, I've been in like a lazy, lazy mood. It's cause I hate editing, bro. I hate editing. If there's anybody that wants to edit my videos, hit me up, we could talk because I hate editing. Um, but this is my dream, this is what I gotta do. So I gotta suck it up and do what I gotta do. Also, I've lost some weight this year as well. At the beginning of this year, I was probably like 250. I went up to almost 260 and now I'm like 230. So I, if you do the math, 
I'm probably down like realistically 20-ish pounds. So congratulations to me, and I'm gonna keep losing weight because right now I'm at like 236. I want to get down to two, the, like the 200s. If I can get to the 200s by like spring break, it's over, bro. Uh, I want to get to the, like the 210s by my birthday, which is on February 23rd. So I got two months. So but I'm just on my grind because it's just like. It's time for me to grind. It's time for me to get everything I want to do, do everything I want to achieve. Stay tuned because I'm telling you, 2022, I have bangers coming. I have bangers like that I want to do. Like when I mean bangers, I'm talking about videos and stuff like that. I want to do stuff on campus. Um, I'm trying to push myself out my comfort zone and do more things. Like I'm gonna bring my camera on campus, just fill myself with a big ass self and just go from there, you know? It's just like, it's time, it's time for me to make my dream a reality. 2021 made me realize that if I get knocked down, I can't stay there and I have to get my ass up. I know it's hard as fuck to get up sometimes, but I have to get up and I have to keep doing what I want to do. There's been plenty of times where I've thought about quitting YouTube. There's plenty of times because what I do this, I'm get like what 50 views and I have a thousand subscribers slowly growing. But still those people that watch me that actually genuinely care about me, that love me as me, because I just be myself. And I realized that it's like, who cares if I don't have a niche? Who cares that I do what I want? I just be myself. I'm a weird, goofy dude. So I just do what I love and I do what I want to do. And that's what I want to preach to y'all. Follow y'all dreams, do what y'all want to do. Be yourself though, don't change it for no one, bro. For me, I just be myself, I be genuine. And hopefully y'all see that. Cause like the way I am on camera, that's the way I'm at it. Like, Hopefully y'all see that because the way I am on camera is the way I am in person. I just be myself because I don't want to change up who I am to achieve something. I want to genuinely do it. I want to do it. I want to get to my goals naturally. It's going to be a lot harder on my end because in 2021 or 2022, but our generation is so fucked. You have to act a certain way or whatever to get to where you want to be. I try to be myself and get to where I want to be without hurting people or faking people. I just... Like, trust me, when I make it, I'm bringing my boys with me. Chris and Kyle, we finna, we finna, we finna make it out the hood, you know what I mean? Um, but no, I'm just joking. But it's like, I wanna, like, I know I have, like, I'm put on this earth to do something big. And that's what made, like, that's what 2021 real, like, made me realize. I am put on this earth to do something big and I'm going to do it. It's going to be hard. Life is fucking hard. But I am worth it. That's something I have to work on myself is self-worth. I have now realized that I am worth it and I'm worth everything, right? I'm like, I'm going to make my dreams come true because everything in life happens for a reason. And trust me, it's like, I'm just hungry. I'm hungry for more. I'm hungry for success. I just can't wait until it's my time to shine because I know my time is coming. Everyone's story is different. I can't sit here and compare myself to my friend who blew up or I can't sit here and compare myself to other YouTubers that are blowing up. That's their journey. This is mine. And I want y'all to come along on my journey. Whoever y'all are, if y'all watching, go down and hit that subscribe button. If you're watching, comment down below what y'all learned in 2021 and what's your New Year's resolution and what's your goal for 2022. Um, I don't know, I'm just so motivated. I can't wait to bring y'all along on my journey. Stay tuned for next year because I have a lot of videos that I still need to edit and I still have a lot of videos and story that I want to film. Um, stay tuned because I want to film a hide and seek video with some friends. I want to film a basketball, like a little mini hoop basketball video on campus. Um, I'm just exposing you on my video ideas, but just stay tuned because I'm grinding. Um, lately, I've been very, very lazy, but I'm trying to get out of it because, like I said, it, it's time for me to stop moping and feeling bad for myself. It's time for me to just grind, 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 grind. We are grinding. 2022 is my year. I know I say that every year, but 2022 is my year. 2020 to 21, I finally hit 1K subscribers after a couple years. And I finally did it. Congratulations to me, but that's not the end goal. We want more. We are hungry for more. So 2022, my goal is to get a thousand views per video. But if I get a thousand views per video, amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna need y'all help though. I need y'all to tell everyone y'all know. I need y'all to put my videos on playlists and stuff like that and fucking replay them. Go crazy with the like button, go crazy with the comments. Just go crazy and support your boy. Support your local Asian business. But yeah, the long story short, this 2021 was a lot of growing this year. I'm happy that everything happened the way it did. I'm happy that the people who are in my life are in my life. And I'm happy that the people who were in my life aren't in my life anymore because, um, I only want to surround myself with positive 
good vibes people. I don't want to surround myself with negativity. So I just want to, you know, keep grinding and keep becoming the best me. Learn every year, basically. Just grow every year. And I'm about to turn 21 too. I'm about to be old as fuck. Stay tuned for my 2021 vlog. You know what I'm saying? More content. Content's coming out soon. And I'm sorry to anyone that I did wrong in 2021. I'm like, I forgive everyone who did me wrong in 2021. Um, I don't hold grudges because there's no point. I'm not wasting my energy on something I have no control of. Um, well, at least I try not to hold grudges. That's, that's something I need to work out too. But I forgive everyone because everyone makes mistakes. We're all human and we all make mistakes. For me, I just want to learn from my mistakes and grow and be a better person. So with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this random 2021 review video um yeah i like my new year's resolutions is to upload as much as i can get like at least a k views on most of my videos get to five or ten k subscribers um just keep grinding and hopefully finish college on time um also i forgot to mention this when i took a gap semester i was kind of behind on credits but now I'm a junior, so I'm not on track. I'm still probably a semester behind, but I'm gonna keep grinding and doing my best to hopefully graduate in 2023, but I'm just gonna do my best and see what happens. But yeah, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below what y'all New Year's resolutions are and what your goals are. And yeah, just come along on my journey and just see me eat. And I'm gonna see y'all eat, cause like I want y'all to eat like I'm eating, you know what I'm saying? We all gotta eat together. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, send your boys out.